This year's New Year's Day celebrations kicked off with a jamboree featuring seven gospel groups from around the island. Committee member David Bowen said he was excited they added this phase of the celebrations to the New Year's morning festivities. And after the jamboree, it was on to the John Canoe Parade, which saw an increase in the number of spectators and participants with the addition of the Kingdom Warriors group. The Kingdom Warriors, the largest group to ever rush on the parade, lived up to the billing, dazzling the crowd, including a few first-time visitors. I actually came down from the States, and uh, it, I think it's a wonderful event. Uh, very creative, very innovative. Um, it, it took a lot of time and effort, I can see. So um, it, it helps me to have a deep appreciation for it. And it's really interesting. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's first year, but we enjoy it. We love it. We love the people. We love the smile, you know. Oh, it's been good, you know. Second year down here, it's been good. The Kingdom Warriors, along with the We Fung Junkaloo group, who made their return to the New Year's festivities, featured a brass section. And while some were disappointed with the number of groups participating, most were excited to see the level of costuming and music grow for this year's parade. Um, I enjoyed it, but I really thought they were going to have some more groups. So, you know, with the time in between, you get bored and want to go home. But, you know, um, trust me, it's nice, especially Kingdom Warriors. I joined Lovely. It was great for the new year. Very, very good. This is the best that I've ever seen in Providentiales, from the concert into the Junkanoo. Man, this is just classy. Organizers say overall they were pleased with this year's performances and the growth of the Junkanoo Parade overall. For WIV4 News, I'm Jody Harvey.